now for our first community conversation. We are jo uh, joined by uh, Coach Vin Lanana, the Director of Track and Field and Cross Country for UVA Athletics. Hey there, Steve. All right, Casey, thank you. Let's start off, just kind of update us how things have gone for the runners this season. It's been a great year. Um, our men and women are doing a great job, and uh, we're excited about hosting NCAAs this weekend. Now, this is something we've, no we've known about for a few years, be hosting, but something that UVA has been looking at into for decades. Yeah, you know, last time it was here was 37 years ago, and uh, the NCAAs were over at Foxfield, <laughs> and now they're at Panorama Farms. Um, what does something like this mean to the program? You know, I think it's a demonstration that uh, this community really loves running and it embraces it and it's exciting to have teams from all over the country here this weekend. So let's talk about the, the meets themselves. Where do you guys stand as far as both programs and um, who, do, who are you maybe most worried about that's coming in? Well, I mean, the, the, favorites in the, the favorites in the meet are probably Northern Arizona on the men's side and BYU. There's 31 teams. Our men are ranked, uh, our, I think our men are ranked 12th uh, nationally. Our women are ranked 9th. And uh, uh, it's also in Northern Arizona, uh, North Carolina State. Uh, and there's 29 other teams to worry about. Right, but you guys focus on yourselves, obviously, right? Obviously, <laughs> yes. Um, so if people are looking at attending, and you mentioned kind of the, the increased uh, interest in these sports around the community. Are there logistics they need to know about before they head out? Yeah, I mean, um, unfortunately, the tickets are sold out. Uh, well, for, depending on how you look at that, <laughs> fortunately or unfortunately. Um, for us, fortunately. Right. Um, if you didn't buy a ticket, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, but the, we're providing shuttle service in from uh, Fashion Square Mall into Panorama Farms. This is no parking out there whatsoever. Our teams will be out there, but um, you'll have to show up early to Fashion Square Mall and take the shuttle in. It's about eight minutes. So someone's never been out to a cross country race of this extent, especially, or track and field. What, what can they expect when they get there? Well, the course is really well designed. The Murray family uh, and his assistant, Jason Dunn, have done a great job. It's a great spectator course. You can see about 80% of the race without taking a step out of the area. So it's really kind of a cool thing be really loud and uh, it'll be something exciting. And the scenery is spectacular as well. <laughs> spectacular. Not, not a bad place to run or take in a run. <laughs> Absolutely, it's gonna be great. Um, what kind of message do you have for the community? We mentioned kind of the interest this community shows and that's one of the reasons you guys were chosen to host this, but what message would you send out to the community ahead of the, the races? Yeah, I mean, I think, uh, you know, it's very difficult to talk about anything regarding running without mentioning Marco Lorenzoni. Uh, Mark point. is the, Mark is the, uh, the guru here and uh, he has been side by side with me throughout and um, uh, I think that this community can embrace something really exciting and I think it demonstrates on a national level and maybe even on a global level that um, Charlottesville is a running community. Well here good luck to you guys hoping for nothing but the best for the squads and the event as a whole I'm sure it's going to be great. Thanks Steve. Right, appreciate, appreciate it. it. Casey.